On a hot sunny day in the middle of summer, the temperature in Britain can get up to 30 degrees centigrade and we turn on the air conditioning. But in Egypt, the temperature can get up to 40 degrees centigrade. How did the ancient Egyptians cope without air conditioning? We have come back to the Egypt Centre at Swansea University to find out. Here we have two types of garments, uh, one of them is for men and one of them is for women. Uh, well this one's actually for women and this is made out of flax which is then made into linen but it's in its sort of rawer form as we don't see linen like this so much nowadays. And it's basically, as you can see here, just two pieces of fabric sewn together so, and it's not fitted or anything, you could fit it yourselves by um, putting belts like this. Um, around it. it could be different colours if you wanted to and maybe if you wanted to attaching things to it when you received it like this. And then we've got one for men and this is, it is basically a kilt and they wouldn't have really worn tops because as we've already said it's really hot and it just really wasn't much point in wearing them, it would have kept them cooler otherwise. And um, you could have this one to fit you as well so you just wrap around as many times as you like, have it as long as you like and um, just have it to fit you. Real Scotsmen didn't wear anything under their kilts, did the Egyptians? When the Egyptians did wear underwear, they would have worn something like this, which might look a little bit odd, but if I just to show you how they actually wore it, it actually works quite well. And because this is linen as well, they could just wash this each time they wanted to. So here we have some Sunday best kind of clothing for the Egyptians. Uh, this is a woman's one and this is actually dyed and they would have added on bits to it as well like these collars and this one's also got added decoration in the middle and this would have more likely been beads actually and uh, they would have decorated their hair as well and worn things like this and uh, they did have a lot attached to their hair uh, but things like this would have been attached to their wigs that they wore. And then we have the men's and we can see this by the type of kilts. We've got pleats on the kilts and these would have been harder to do. The Egyptians did know how to do them but it would have taken a long time so that would have cost a lot more. And we've also got a sash to go with it and this one is actually for somebody who's a, a royal official and they had these collars as well, broad collars and these were separate, because the same sort of decoration on them, different colours. And to go with this outfit, so we've got the ceremonial sword. And uh, this wouldn't have had too much decoration on it. It would have just been sort of a plain kind of sword. So should we ask for kilts to be introduced in our school summer uniform for the boys? Definitely not. Back to the studio.